Hey you guys, so a little different video for me, um, but it's something I'm very passionate about and that is goals, goal setting. Now disclaimer, girl or boy, <laughs> I am not an expert on this. These are things that I have done to help myself. Um, so what I'm gonna be showing you guys today is how I created a digital um, vision board. And a vision board is basically a visual res representation of your goals, the things you want to achieve in life. Now, I've always set goals for myself. Um, I wasn't necessarily a yearly goal person, but a life life goal. What can I achieve in life? Not just this year alone. Okay. Now I do, I do say that my yearly goals tend to be my short term goals to the bigger things that I want to achieve later on. So what you're going to see me do here is you want to write down the items, your goals, and then you go out and find pictures online. Um, and I'm going to be using a software called um, excuse me, pick monkey. Very, very, um, easy to use. At least I find it easy to use. One thing I do want to say, the benefits, of course, of having a digital vision board is that you can save it on your phone. You can save it on, on your computer, on your work laptop if you're able to do so. And you can print it out, you guys. This was the most powerful thing I have done for myself in my adult life. Like I said, I've always been a goal-oriented person, but it makes a big difference when you can visually see it and then see it manifest, okay? So I created my vision board in 2015, so it's been two years. How has it been? Let me tell you guys, it has been absolutely amazing. This is one of the best things I could have done. I wish I would have done this sooner. My Now I had a time span of five years for I wanted to achieve all of my goals. And let me tell you, within a couple of weeks of me creating my vision board, and again, I saved it on my cell phone, I saved it on my work laptop, my home laptop, I was looking at it, but then it was there so, so much I since it was there, I almost forgot it was there. And I just saw the images, you know, cause I'm on my phone all the time. I'm on my work laptop all the time. Within a couple of weeks, like I said, I started seeing things forming and coming into existence. Um, I was getting contacted to write hair articles for magazines, to host workshops here in the Valley because I do, do um, natural hair workshops here in the Valley every now and then. But this kept coming up. I mean, it was literally three or four different organizations that contacted me within a month. Absolutely amazing. One of the biggest ones was me getting married. I'm gonna try really hard not to get teary-eyed because I created these goals in a time where things weren't right in my relationship with my now husband. We were on the on the verge of separating, which we actually did separate in the midst of still looking at my vision board. I had placed a married couple, um, a marriage ring, if I remember. I, I changed my vision boards up images up um, quite often, you guys, at that time, so I can't remember exactly what it was. But basically, marriage was there, and that was one of the items that came into existence this year. So, absolutely amazing. I am a firm believer in vision boards and the power of positive thinking. It's just an amazing thing to see how you grow as an individual and to actually see your goals and to reach your goals. It's a wonderful thing and it gives you purpose for life. So I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of this video. If you have any tips, tricks, trades, any secrets, have you done a vision board? Would you like to do a vision board? Please share down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care. Bye. One of the first things you want to do is to actually write out your goals. You need to know what type of images you're looking for, okay? So under each goal, you're going to create short-term goals. And I have just four common areas here, health, relationship, career, and self-development. Now, you don't have to do this. You can write down everything on a sheet of paper. I just like to see everything typed up, okay? You want to be very, very detailed and very specific for your goals. You want to create tangible goals, realistic goals. Realistically, you may not be able to lose 40 pounds in three months, but you may be able to lose 15 pounds in three months, okay? So if you have a goal, and this is just an example, you guys, to lose weight. Well, what do I need to do in order to lose weight? Do I need to buy a gym membership? Perhaps I need to purchase um, fitness equipment. And what you want to do is create a deadline or a due date for each of those sub goals with your overall goal, meaning to lose weight, being further out in the future. Now, as I mentioned earlier, perhaps I didn't, but my vision board is for five years. Um, so you don't have to do everything within a year. If you want to do everything in a, in a year, go right ahead. But just be realistic. I know for me, realistically, the goals that I had in mind, 
it would take me about five years to accomplish, okay? So this is just an example of some common goals and again, creating some short-term goals. And what I'm gonna do here is show you guys um, what it means to create SMART goals, okay? And let me know you guys out, down in the comments section if you like these type of videos. Um, I have some several ideas for creating series and um, purpose and creating goal setting is a very it's passionate it's very I'm very passionate about it, I should say so yeah I'm just typing here just make sure that these are smart goals so that so that they can be measurable and attainable okay so yeah you guys let me know um, one thing I do want to say is that everything will have to be on one channel it is getting very difficult for us smaller youtubers to create multiple channels due to the new requirements of having 10,000 or more subscribers so yeah I'm sorry about that but if I do decide to go for it with a series I will be very detailed when it comes to scheduling so here I am going to Google Google excuse me and I'm going to just type up digital vision boards to see what I have to get some inspiration from other people who have created vision boards in the past so I just see some examples here this is one and you're actually going to see my vision board come up here um, on the fourth line down <laughs> whenever I can get to it um, and my vision board is on my blog and I describe how I created it um, and I'm going to load up my blog here and again if you see that date this was created in 2015 like I said and a lot of these items are already coming into existence so what I'm going to use is Pick Monkey, you guys. I'm just going to open up a blank page in Pick Monkey. I love Pick Monkey. I, I make my thumbnails using Pick Monkey. Um, one thing I will have to say is that now they've started charging people, but you can take a screenshot of your images <laughs> if you don't want to pay that $7.99 a month. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to Google and search for some images for my vision board. So here I'm just going to type in Juicer. I just found an image for Juicer, and I'm just going to start saving all the um, images I found find on my um, desktop here. Excuse me. Now you don't need an image for everything you find, and I do want to say that you can be very, very. How, how should I put this? Your vision board does not have to be all of your goals. If you wanted to do a vision board for travel, places you would like to travel, you know, before you before you check out you know that's okay you can do a vision your children can do a vision board which I think is a very good idea my vision board was a combination of a couple of things and excuse me what I'm doing here is finding a picture of my best friend you want to get very very detailed you guys because one of the goals if you remember was building relationships so now I'm back at pick monkey and I'm going to type up some words that are associated with my goals again you want to be very specific you want to be positive so I'm going to use words like trust um, another good one is active listening. You can even do positive affirmations. I am worthy. You are healthy. You don't want to type in things that have nothing to do with your goals. You, it doesn't make any sense to, to do that. You know, typing in anger management and none of your goals deal with anger management itself. So at this point, I'm going to go in and add all of the images that I saved on my desktop. Now, this is going to be a little bit time consuming because if you're like me, if you get a little OCD, you like things to be a little perfect, it can take a while. It took me a week to create my vision board, board on, on PicMonkey. Um, but this is just an example, so it's not going to be perfect. So yes, you guys, please, like I said you know, earlier, let me know if you are interested in these type of videos. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I shared an image on a couple of ideas I had for upcoming series. And um, career development, goal setting, Finding your purpose in life is one of just one of the ideas I had as far as series, and it's something that I'm trying to do. You know, trying to hopefully accomplish, like I think a lot of us are. So as you can see here, with one of the images, I am erasing some of the background so I can overlay them so everything can fit on one um, one document, or I should say, one vision board. I'm almost done here again just playing around with the images and I'm going to save the document and like I said you can save this on your cell phone because you I don't know what the statistics are but I look at my cell phone literally probably 20 times an hour probably more than that almost done like I said and so yeah you guys let me know if you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe <laughs> let me know if you've done a vision board I hope you guys enjoyed this take care bye